on a run right now. Hi, it's Gola. So this week's challenge is the running slash walking challenge, but first of all, let's talk about last week's water challenge. So the challenge last week was to drink at least two liters of water a day. And it was so much fun. I loved getting tweets from you guys talking about how you needed to go to the toilet like every two seconds and just keeping me updated and everything on Twitter and Instagram and on my Facebook and everything because I was giving you guys little like nudges like oh don't forget to drink your water and yeah that was a lot of fun so I hope all of you guys are feeling hydrated and I hope you're drinking some water right now do you have water around you I hope you do comment below if you do have a bottle or glass of water beside you that you are sipping on right now you better be so if you're part of that challenge make sure you comment below telling me how you did with everything and I will be announcing the winner of the challenge over on my Facebook page and the link to my Facebook page will be down below any hoozles the running slash walking challenge basically the challenge for the next two weeks is to pretty much run and walk as much as you possibly can the reason I added in the option of walking is because I understand some of you guys might not be able to run in the area you live in or for whatever are other reasons medical reasons or like your legs um, I know a lot of people have like knee problems and everything like that so it's completely understandable if you cannot like go full out running just yet so you can walk if you want to because we walk every single day we walk around up the stairs down the stairs to the kitchen to get your food that's all the walking I do pretty much I'm joking I'm joking you guys know I'm super active Anywho, the reason why I did this challenge was pretty much just to get you guys more active and doing more cardio workouts because we only have like nearly a month basically left until the end of this challenge. So what I was thinking is just to get you guys to kickstart that weight loss, really do something that will fire up that metabolism and get you burning that fat or if you're not trying to burn that fat, at least get you healthier because running and walking is just so, so good for your health. So the aim is to either run at least one mile or walk at least one mile, one mile a day. <laughs> so you can complete this challenge whether you run or not. So if you can't be running on one of the days, then you can be walking around. I don't know about you guys, but I'm constantly walking around my house, walking everywhere else that I go. I just don't stay in my house. I go other places too. <laughs> so basically it's just about getting a mile of just a journey a day but it is actually pretty difficult to mark out whether you have actually walked or run a mile a day so what I suggest if you have a iPhone or Android I'm not quite sure is to get either a running or walking app you can probably find one I personally use the Nike running app and I'm sure I can use that for walking as well and it will count up all the miles that I do in a day whether I'm just walking around or everything like that you can also get one of those like stepometers that count how many steps you do in a day or like a pod is it a pedometer I am not too sure also you can go on the treadmill or anything like that that you want to even if you want to cycle it anything is possible you can do cycling as well I'm gonna just add that one in there if you have no way of actually measuring the distance then just just walk just run just tell me that you walked and you've run and you've had a good time whatever you choose to do whether you choose to walk cycle run whatever just tell me if you've done it if you can't mark out the distance just be like hey I did it you can maybe do it in time and say I did about like three hours of walking or something like that so really this week is just about encouraging activity keeping guys active and just up there and thinking about the fact that you shouldn't be sitting around all day you should be getting up and walking around and doing different stuff and all of that another thing walking is great for clearing your mind it's actually great therapy that's what I tell a lot of you guys that aren't feeling too good about yourselves or you have a problem with binging and stuff like that I personally thought walking was the best therapy because you get out of the house you get to just breathe fresh air and just have a good time and just have time to yourself and think to yourself and be in nature I love nature I don't know about anybody else but it's really just lovely to be in nature so running or walking is something I really personally enjoy and I just wanted to share it with you guys I will put all of the challenge information down below and also post all of the challenge information on my Facebook just so you guys can remember what this is all about 
Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Have fun with this challenge. Don't forget to comment below telling me how you did with the water challenge. And don't forget to carry on drinking your water. Don't forget about that. Just because the challenge is over doesn't mean that you stop drinking your water. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!